Being a mom is one of the hardest things you could possibly do in this life. Being a parent is very hard. It's um, nerve wracking. Uh, you worry a lot about your children. Um, you worry that you're doing a good job. And I wanna let you know, if you're a mom, you are doing a good job. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you for being a mom. Thank you for playing the game. Thank you for raising children. One of the hardest jobs to do on this planet. You wanna be the best you possibly can be for your kids and raise them so that they are productive and ethical human beings. And it's very hard. And it's very hard also with external influences TV, media, social media, trying to teach them things that are basically against your moral code. And so there's like so many things to worry about. But what I really want to take up in this video is the fact that how the carnivore diet helped me to become a better mom. Raising children, you're raising these little human beings. They're not, they're children. They're of course they're children, but they're actually like little human beings that you need to educate and prepare for life as an adult and it's really hard sometimes and uh, as a mom if you are exhausted all the time and you are malnourished because you don't know the right foods to eat but you think you're doing the right thing but you just feel terrible all the time you're not going to be the best mom you possibly can be and um, when I started the carnivore diet that wasn't even one of my considerations I didn't realize that the carnivore diet was going to make me a better mom and what do I mean by that the carnivore diet didn't change my mind. Uh, the carnivore diet didn't do miraculous things and apply magic to me. Uh, but what it did was it healed my body and it helped me to heal things in my mind also. And it helped me so that I can sleep. If you're a mom, most likely you're exhausted. You're probably exhausted all the time. Are you a mom and are you exhausted? Uh, how much sleep do you get? It's so important that we sleep. I had terrible sleep for years, years of terrible sleep. And you're trying to be a mom with terrible sleep. And in my situation, um, lots of gut issues. It's very hard to be your best self when you feel terrible all the time. And you're gonna, if you want to or not, that's gonna affect your children. So how did the carnivore diet make me a better mom? I switched how I was eating. I got all of the garbage out of my system. I got all the garbage out of my diet. Um, and within days, actually days, I had so much energy and I was taking my kids to the park. Um, I was less worried. You can't be constantly worried as a mom. It's terrible. You need to be the best version of you so you can produce the best version of them, right? So I changed how I was eating. I started eating a lot of red meat. I started eating more eggs. I think, I don't know if it's that combination or the combination of getting all the garbage on my diet is probably a combination of both that really changed things for me. But with literally within three days, I had so much energy. I was, get, I think within three days, I was actually sleeping after years of terrible sleep. Uh, it would not be a stretch to say some nights I even had insomnia. Um, just, you know, so much going on in my head, so much worry, stuff I couldn't shut off, you know, just things playing over in your head. I would dread waking up in the middle of the night because I was so worried I wouldn't go back to sleep. I would dread going to sleep because I couldn't sleep. These things are terrible when you're a mom. You cannot be the best person of you if you have not slept and if you are malnourished. And most of us, I believe, are malnourished because we are eating the wrong foods. So for me, the carnivore diet was the solution. Um, no, but within days I'm taking them to the park, we're going to the pool, we're doing so many more activities, I'm cleaning the house, I have energy, I'm not worried. When you're worried, it's gonna reflect on your kids, okay? Look, being a mom is hard. You know, you wanna keep your poop together, you know what I mean? You wanna keep yourself together, but sometimes you can't. And then your kids are running around and maybe they make you a little bit on edge and maybe you say or do the wrong things that you feel bad about. But what if you could just be a little bit calmer? That's what the carnivore diet gave to me, I could be calmer. Um, I'm not saying I'm a perfect mom, but I'm saying I'm a lot better. I'm a lot better because I'm there for them a lot better. Um, I'm doing stuff with them, I'm playing with them, and I've learned over the last year how to feed them better. Now, they're not carnivore, but they eat a lot. They eat very well, okay? And um, that is also great because their bodies are growing correctly with the correct nutrition that they need. Anyways, things are just a lot better when you as a mom have slept you eat properly um look if you don't sleep and you don't eat if you're tired and you're hungry and you're malnourished you're gonna be crazy to some degree sorry that's the truth you're gonna be not yourself you're gonna be um you're gonna be wishing that you were yourself but you're not yourself and that's the truth and it's a it's a it's a problem when you can't be there so i am so much more there for my kids now and i could be really that like being a mom 
to not sleep and to not eat and to not take care of yourself is not selfless. It's more selfish. It's terrible because it's, it's not selfless because you're not taking care of yourself. How are you going to take care of your kids? How are you going to take care of your house? How are you going to take care of your loved one? Um, within three days between the carnivore diet, I was literally cleaning maybe, maybe four days I was cleaning, but I had the energy to do that. And how terrible is it to not be able to take care of your home and your family and your kids the way you want to all because you're not taking care of yourself. So it's so important that we learn to take care of ourselves as moms and give ourselves the time that we need even like go take some time off like it's stop being selfless because it's selfish and i don't mean that in a harsh way but sometimes we got to hear those words trying to be selfless and this is really a conversation with myself i'm just talking to myself actually being selfless is selfish you have to take care of yourself. You have to make time for yourself. You need to take care of yourself so you can take care of everybody else. And that's the most important. I think that's my message. But I want to say if you're a mom, you're doing a great job. No matter if I said some stuff you disagree with in this video, you're doing a great job. And we need to take care of yourself and we need to take care of each other as moms. It's a hard job and we need to do the right things with our bodies to make it easier to live and succeed. <sighs> I hope you felt this was useful to some degree. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to know if you're on the carnivore diet and if you have kids and how that has, has helped you as a parent. Um, please let me know in the comments. Bye.